Creating Our Reality, Consciousness as a Field, and the Holographic Universe. Thank you for exploring consciousness with me. I'm Christopher Voss, MD, MS, FCCP, a board-certified anesthesiologist. In my previous video, we explored the intriguing possibility that consciousness might be more than just a product of our brains. Perhaps it's a field, much like the fields described in physics, that permeates and connects everything in the universe. Today, I want to take that idea a step further and discuss how, if consciousness is indeed a field, we might be using it, consciously or unconsciously, to create our own reality. We'll delve into the theory that our world could be a hologram of our minds projected outward, a concept rooted in modern physics, and see how the teachings of Neville Goddard could offer practical guidance in navigating this holographic universe. The holographic principle in modern physics to understand how our reality could be a projection of consciousness, we first need to explore the concept of the holographic principle, a theory that has gained traction in modern physics. The holographic principle suggests that all the information contained within a volume of space can be represented on a boundary to that space, much like a hologram. In essence, the three-dimensional world we experience might be encoded on a two-dimensional surface implying that our perception of depth and reality is an illusion created by this encoded information. This idea stems from the study of black holes and quantum gravity. Physicist Leonard Susskind and Nobel laureate Gerard de Hooft proposed that the information paradox of black holes could be resolved if the three-dimensional information of objects falling into a black hole were stored on its two-dimensional event horizon. This led to the broader application of the holographic principle to the universe itself, suggesting that our entire cosmos might be a hologram, with the third dimension being an emergent phenomenon from underlying two-dimensional data. Imagine a holographic image, where a three-dimensional object appears to float in space, but in reality, it's a projection from a two-dimensional surface. If we extend this concept to consciousness, it suggests that what we perceive as our physical reality could be a projection of our consciousness, our minds shaping and interpreting the hologram of the world around us. Consciousness and Quantum Mechanics To further understand how our minds could create reality, we must consider the role of consciousness in quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics has long been at the frontier of challenging our perceptions of reality, with experiments like the double-slit experiment revealing that particles can exist in multiple states at once until observed, suggesting that consciousness plays a role in determining the outcome of physical processes. In this quantum view, reality is not fixed, but is instead a range of possibilities that collapse into a single outcome upon observation. This has led some theorists to propose that consciousness is integral to the fabric of reality, influencing how and what we perceive in the physical world. If consciousness is indeed a field, it could be interacting with the quantum realm to bring potential realities into existence, essentially projecting the hologram of our world based on the information and intentions held within our minds. Consider how a projector works. The light passes through a film strip, creating an image on the screen. In this analogy, consciousness is the light, the quantum field is the film strip, and our perceived reality is the image on the screen. What's encoded on the film could be shaped by our thoughts, beliefs, and expectations, meaning that the world we see is a reflection of what's happening in our consciousness, the holographic universe and our role in creation. The idea that the universe is a hologram implies that we are not just passive observers, but active participants in creating our reality. If consciousness is a field that interacts with the quantum fabric of the universe, our thoughts and intentions could be shaping the very structure of the world around us. This brings us to the concept of the observer effect in quantum mechanics, where the act of observation affects the system being observed. If our consciousness is constantly interacting with the quantum field, then our beliefs, emotions, and intentions are continuously influencing the hologram of reality that we experience. In this model, reality is not something fixed or external, but a dynamic, co-created experience where our inner world is projected outward as our lived reality. This aligns with the teachings of Neville Goddard, who proposed that the world is nothing more than your consciousness objectified. According to Goddard, everything we experience in the physical world is a reflection of our inner state of consciousness, 
a hologram of our mind pushed out into the world, applying Neville Goddard's teachings in a holographic universe. Neville Goddard was a mystic and teacher who delved deeply into the power of imagination and consciousness. He believed that our imagination is God in action, and that by harnessing the power of imagination, we can shape our reality. If we accept the premise that consciousness is a field and that reality is a hologram, then Goddard's teachings offer a practical guide for navigating this understanding. Goddard emphasized the importance of living from the end, imagining and feeling the reality of your desires as if they are already fulfilled. This practice aligns with the idea of collapsing quantum possibilities into a single reality, as by focusing our consciousness on a specific outcome, we influence the quantum field to manifest that reality. In the context of a holographic universe, Goddard's techniques can be seen as a way to deliberately project the hologram of our desired reality. By aligning our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs with the reality we wish to create, we can use the consciousness field to bring that reality into being. This suggests that the key to creating a fulfilling life lies in mastering our inner world, recognizing that what we hold in our consciousness is what will be reflected back to us in the world around us. Merging Science and Spirituality The idea that consciousness is a field and that reality is a hologram of our minds offers a powerful synthesis of science and spirituality. While these concepts are still speculative and not fully embraced by mainstream science, they open intriguing possibilities for how we understand our role in the universe. As a physician, I believe it's important to explore these ideas with a balance of scientific rigor and open-minded inquiry. If we accept that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping reality, then the teachings of Neville Goddard provide valuable insights into how we can consciously create the life we desire. Could it be that the world is indeed a hologram, a projection of our consciousness? And if so, what reality will you choose to create?